Hi everyone, it's Fiona here. I'm out and about today, so I apologize for wind noise and you're looking at the ocean behind me, but I'm also facing a major arterial road that we call the Marginal that carries traffic to and from Lisbon and all the way out to the coast. But I finally had the chance to grab some time and sit down with you and just update you on what's happening with the Asheville Vedic Astrology Apprenticeship Program. We have now nearly 30 students in the certification pathway. It's a joy to have you all here and I love receiving your work and hearing how you're going. We have, of that nearly 30, I think it's 27 enrolled, um, more than half of them have completed the first piece of assessment, so congratulations to everyone who's done that. That's the quiz in Rashis and Signs. And around about 10 people have finished both of the essays that go with Rashis and Signs as well. So there's a whole bunch of you now in Barbers and Houses um, and have been allocated the assignment for that. And then I also have some super students who were doing the program before the certification pathway was back and they are moving through all of their assessments so some are in barbers and houses some have got planets and um, I think I've also marked uh, I'm about to receive some Shad Bala and, and moving forward um, as they get through all of the papers that they're catching up on from the videos that they watched over the last couple of years so people are progressing really well keep up the good work I think the feedback I get in general is how much you guys learn by doing the essays and I found that myself as well. It's, it really is one thing to listen to content, it's a whole nother thing to put it together in your own words and make sense and keep it concise. So you're all doing a great job. Um, I've already spoken to you individually but for those who are thinking about handing in their assessments, things to keep in mind about Google Classroom is that um, you need to submit your work, so you need to upload it onto the system and could you load it please as a doc or a Google Doc or a PDF. I don't seem to be able to read any of the Apple native uh, uploads, so keep it in something generic that Google can read. And then in terms of assessing, every essay has its own rubric, is what Google Classroom calls it. I don't know whether you can see that on your side, but those are the criteria that I'm marking on and everyone needs to get a hundred percent on those criteria so this is not a grading thing where um, you know 50 percent is a pass or something like that this is a you have been able to demonstrate your competency 100 percent or you haven't yet been able to demonstrate your competency and so we need a bit more information so that's why don't worry if you're getting 100 percent and you think you're my favorite student it's actually just the way google classroom is it's the only way that i can record that you've met all of the Rubik criteria. And what else do I want to let you know? Um, if you are doing Barbers and Houses right now, the first essay is all about dignity um, and you need to talk about natural friendships and temporal friendships, so you guys are doing that. The second essay is about prosperity and annihilation. So the question was a little maybe unclear and so I just popped those words now into the question. You are um, judging three houses in a person's life and talking about whether they are annihilated, prosperous or mixed and how that reflects in the person's life. Alright, I think that's all the things that I can remember to tell you. Just keep going with your work at your own pace, submit it when you're ready and I look forward to seeing you in the feedback sessions. Okay, bye.